So um, I didn't recall it also, but we just met um, a male Rottweiler. And you know, um, the funny thing, uh, so he was off leash. He was bigger than Lisa. So I would say at least 60 kilos. And the owner was like 70, 80 year old lady. So, you know, most likely the, of the same or even less weight than her dog. And I have noticed this, oh, Lizzie. Lisa! Lizzie! Ne! There, Vanya put it The cooksuma. She has all the dust from the bushes on her now. Yeah. She looks completely white almost. And I have. No, Demo. The snout is so, so itchy with head color, according to her, of course. So yeah, I noticed this trend before, especially with Rottweilers and Terriers, well, uh, Bull Terriers, with, you know, female owners or not even owners, just, you know, walkers. Usually, you know, the actual owner of the dog is lady's um, son or daughter. And of course, because they cannot take care of the dog during the day, you know, like, uh, you know, substitute child. In the morning, they will leave the dog with granny and then the granny will try to you know take care of the animal you know going for a walk especially you know when you're living in the apartment building and then you know so in this case let's say a rot this rottweiler that we just met he was, you know, very nice. Um, they sniffed each other from top to bottom. No problem, no growling. Except that he was so infatuated with um, Lisa that he started to drool. But yeah, so this encounter was nice. You know, no, pro not, not problematic. But in the past, um, unfortunately, you know, we had experience some, let's say, oddly matched dog owner, dog walker couple. Um, when, you know, it was clear that the owner or the dog walker couldn't physically control the animal. Of course, you know, Lisa, you know, she can also be handful, you know, especially, you know, if you're not paying attention and she is in, let's say, fighting mood, you know, she can, you know, trip, she can pull and, you know, in that case, I will just release the, usually I use, you know, flexi. But yeah, you know, in, you know, like 99% of the time, I can physically restrain her, you know, of course. Lil Sis can also do that when she has a head collar on. But yeah, you know, sometimes you meet this, um, let's say, very light, people you know like i'm saying between 50 and 60 kilos 
with very powerful dog breed and sometimes the do these dogs you know aren't let's say the nicest and then you have you know problems so in previous cases when I realized that you know such pair is nearing us I would you know just switch the location so that we would avoid them you know or walk past them from you know considerable distance so that we would you know eliminate any chance of um, problematic encounter but yeah but in general um, I never had really a lot of problems when uh, meeting Rottweilers you know first of all there are not many of them here there used to be more in my let's say when I was a kid but now they are not so popular especially and Lisa has to go oh, she has done her business and I will not show it but you know she always has to go on some sort of leaves or tweaks and then you know you have to I think that you can see the tweaks sticking out Oh, and now we have to go down so yeah I, as I was um, saying um, in the past we didn't have any problems with Rottweilers no yeah they have a very bad reputation yeah Lisa wiping her butt but yeah um, there were some aggressive um, bull terriers um, that we met when Lisa was you know puppy basically but I haven't seen them around so I don't know what happened to them so pretty close to the road and as you can see no trash bin so I will be carrying this bag for quite some time. Okay, let's end on this point. <laughs>